Hello and welcome back, my name's Devious Gaming, and you are watching episode 29 of my Pokemon Moon Egglock. Uh, in today's episode we will be continuing our venture on Pony Island after losing our whole team in the last episode. Uh, we did manage to hatch a Marshadow, um, which we could have leveled up to level 40 um, as we continue on our adventure. I have leveled up everybody else off screen um, to get them to a reasonable level so that we can continue our adventure. So let's just have a quick recap of our Pokemon. We have Hood, our Marshadow, Patrick, our Orangaroo, Squidworth, our Inkay, Jason, our Sneasel, Bubbles, our Araquanid, and Tabeo, our Murkrow. So we're going to head straight out um, back to where we got defeated in the last episode. Uh, we did get our encounter already, as we now have Marshadow on our team. So let's just continue through the area. I am going to skip the trainer that defeated us, just because I don't want any more mishaps. But we will tackle a few more trainers along this route. We had a major weakness to poison with our last team, so hopefully the team we have now should fare a little bit better. So we have pretty a decent move set on our Marshadow. He has Ice Punch, Fire Punch, Thunder Punch, and Drain Punch. Um, so hitting off there with a Gumshoes, defeating it relatively quickly, and moving on. We have picked up a Max Potion along the way, which is fantastic. So let's head through the route. And let's take on this trainer here. Let's have a quick battle while gathering berries together with our Pokemon. So this is the chef, I believe. Cook Phil. He has two Pokemon. So let's have a look at what he's got. He has a Parasect to hit us off. We are going to lead with Hood. And we should be able to take this thing down with an Ice Punch. Super effective. Fury Cutter not doing a lot of damage to us. And one more Fire Punch is going to finish this thing. Nice and easy. We do get put to sleep by the Effect Spore uh, ability on the Parasect. So Marshadow is going to fall asleep. Everybody in the team is going to get some XP. And we are going up against a Rabombi. So let's switch out into Jason now. To take down this Rabombi. Making its debut here. Sneasel, our, um, Jason, our Sneasel. The Bombi is going to use Dazzling Gleam, which is super effective. I have, again, miscalculated. So I am going to switch out now into... Let's go for Bubbles. We should be able to take this thing down with an Aurora Beam. We'll not take too much damage ourselves, which is fantastic. We are going to get the Evasive drop, but that shouldn't make too much of a difference. Bug Buzz not going to do a great deal of damage. However, Aurora Beam should take this thing out. Which it doesn't, sadly. So let's hit this thing with a bubble beam. Let's see if that's enough to finish off this Rabombi. And it is. So there we have it. We haven't lost anyone just yet. Which is a good thing, as we do only have one more Pokemon in the back now. So we need to play a bit more carefully as we continue on let's just heal up I can't remember if there is a trainer battle coming up or not so I will just super potion up everybody hopefully we can evolve a few of these guys in this episode with any luck
We have bumped into Mudsdale. It's good to see you again too, Mudsdale. You look to be in fine form. Wow, Pokemon trainers really do amaze me. Seems like a hard path to walk, and even so, you don't let yourself be held back by the fear of seeing other po seeing your Pokemon friends get hurt. You just keep striving forward together. Oh, been a while, Devious. And you brought Lily along too. Yes, it's good to see you, Hapu. You look different, like you're ready to go all out in something, in something now. Thank you, Hapu. I've finally discovered what I need to do. So this is my Z-powered form. Oh, then do your best, Lily. No one could call you Lily Livered anymore. Um, so, Hapu, do you know where we can find the Kahuna? The Kahuna? Hmm. Don't have one here on Pony Island. What? Now what do we do, Devious? Hmm. Well, I suppose... The time might be right now. I already finished up my battle against that odd little thing that appeared out of the sky. Alright, let us all proceed to the ruins. You stick with me, you two. Devious, we just have to keep going, right? But then again, you are a trainer, aren't you? I suppose you always keep moving forward. Wait there. Eek. I, I'm sorry, I don't think we've been introduced. Ho ho ho, I'm Hapu's old gran. Are you two friends with my girl? Yes we are. Ho ho ho. So, she has friends now. Travelling around the islands, making new friends. You kids are luckier than you know. If you want to head to po for the Pony Island Ruins, how about a bit of help from this old gran? Here, hand over your ride page for a moment. Machamp was registered to the ride pager. So we now have Machamp in our ride pager. You'll need to move some big obstacles to make, make it down the path that you two hope to travel. I wish you both a bright future. So, a champ is the equivalent of Boulder, I believe. Uh, the TM Boulder. My Hapu was heading for the Ruins of Hope, wasn't she? Go after her. First, you'll come to Pony Breaker Coast. You'll know it by the soil. It's black as pitch. Go through there and you'll find the ruins. Thank you very much, Mom. You have been a great help. So, we are off to the ruins of hope by the looks of things that is where the guardian of pony island will be that is where tapu finney lives let's go so let's just grab another zygarde cell why not and let's head this way to the now we can get an encounter here First, first things first, I am going to take on this trainer. Being a new area, we could get the uh, Wimpod encounter. So we might just do that after we beat the trainer. Let's sight see a Jamie and her Sand Shrew. Now, what can we do to this thing? A nice punch. Oh, and I forgot Hood was still asleep. My mistake. So let's see who can take a dig. I'm pretty sure Hood will take a dig. So I'm going to wake him up. Hopefully we've got something to wake him up with. We do. Fantastic. We have woken and got hit by the dig. So now we can attack freely again. We're going to hit this thing with a nice punch and hopefully take it out. Not quite, but we do get the frozen on the sand shrew. So 
this sand troop is definitely going down. Let's just hit this with a fire punch to finish it off. And there we have it. One down, three to go. We are going to keep battling with our Marshadow Hood. And let's hit this guy with a Drain Punch and gain some life back. Taking out the Vulp Vulpix with a one-hit KO. going to stay in as Mars Shadow seems to be faring quite well against these Kanto originals this Geodude does seem to have the sturdy ability we're going to get hit with a stone edge which is, doesn't do a great deal of damage and let's hit this guy with a one more drain punch to finish him off It is pretty cool that Marshado has got a way of healing itself with the move Drain Punch. Getting more of a fighting chance. We are going to stay in one last time against this Graveler. Let's hit this thing with another Drain Punch, hope, hoping that it doesn't have Sturdy and Explosion. It does seem to have Sturdy. hope it just doesn't hit straight off with an explosion it doesn't it's going to use stealth rocks which is fantastic so we can finish this guy off with an ice punch and we're back to full health which is fantastic I'm just going to run up here and through the grass to grab this TM. We'll take down this wild pelipper quickly. It does have the drizzle ability. We do have thunder punch, which is super effective. On this Pelipper. Down he goes. Gaining a bit more experience. Almost gained a level so far on our Marshadow. And we got TM79 Frost Breath. So, don't think we've got anything we can. We might be able to teach that to our. Uh, let's see if we can catch this Wimpod quickly. Before he runs off, which we do not. So, let's. Quickly exit the area and go back in. And we will try and get this Wimpod once more. He doesn't seem to be there. It is another Zygarde cell we'll just grab. Might be able to make another Zygarde and add another Pokemon to our team. But for now, looks like... We're going to have to fish for our encounter on this route. However, there doesn't seem to be anything biting at the moment. We'll give it one more try. See if we can get anything. Oh, and there it is. Oh, we obtained a sticky barb. Let's drop a again just to see if we can encounter a pokemon and there we have it this will be our encounter for this route and it is going to be magikarp so that's pretty easy to catch as it will only learn splash maybe tackle so let's just throw a quick ball at this thing straight off the bat see if we can catch this without any fuss And there we have it. We will be adding a Pokemon to our team, which is fantastic. 
Another one for the bank. Don't need to nickname this thing, and it can be sent to the PC box. There we go, and off we go now to meet Hapu in front of the ruins, another Zygarde cell. And there we have it. The ruins of hope. What is this place? The air feels so oppressive. But but if we go in there, maybe Nebu will return to normal. People believe that the garden deity of these ruins, Tapu Fini, can wash away any impurities with its mystic water. That sounds pretty promising. That's right, it does, Devious. I'm going to give it up my all so that we can return Nebby back to normal. So, just you wait, Nebby. This time, I'm going to be the one who saves you. Come on, Devious, let's go. We are going to head into the ruins now. Looks like we're going to need to use Machamp to push some of these big blocks out of the way. If we're going to break a path, we'll need to move these huge rocks. That's what Hapu's grandmother said, isn't it? I don't think I can do this. It's heavier than words can ex even express. We'll have to borrow Machamp's formidable strength for this task. I read about it once in a book, if I can remember right said when getting a ride from a powerful Machamp, trainers can activate Machamp's shove by standing before the rock and pressing B. And if we find ourselves getting frustrated, we should probably remember to step outside again for a bit of a perspective. So basically, if we mess up, we can um, reset by leaving the area and coming back in. So let's have a look at how we're going to get past all these boulders or blocks and it's not exactly a difficult puzzle we will push this this way run around the other side and push it down the hole not too difficult Head straight into the next bit. And let's run up and talk to Hapu. I've read, read about them, you know. A load of secret ruins and the guardian deities worship within them. They go where, wherever they want, so it's not easy to meet them, according to the books I've read. But if they are summoned here at the ruins, they do sometimes appear. The book says that they are well capricious. Encounters with them do not always end as you hope they will. Maybe that explains why. Even coming here to these ruins hasn't evoked any response from Nevi. Oh, there's Hapu. Give my thanks for your great blessings. Oh, so you two were watching. The Kahunas are chosen by the Pokemon we worship here in Alola, our sacred guardians. They are chosen from among people living on the island each guardian watches over. Lily told me that you're pretty new to our parts, eh, hey, Devious? You came to Alola from far off. You must really be something then. I heard how you were given a sparkling stone by the Tapu, even as a stranger to our shores. My grandfather? My grandfather was also chosen for this honour, the honour of being our island's kahuna, but he died suddenly some years back, and we were left without a kahuna on pony. 
I tried to follow in his footsteps, but I was not chosen by the Tapu back then. So I set out on my own sort of island challenge, travelling a travelling Alola and trying to grow stronger. Lily, the kahuna you wished to meet is right here. Oh, of course. Then please, Kahuna Hapu, tell me about the legendary Pokemon. So you want to know about Lunala, who we pay tribute to at the altar of the moon. My mother disappeared into the beast world. I know that she was a terrible person, but she's still my mother. I need to see her again to tell her something. That's why I want to ask the legendary Pokemon for its help. Legendary Pokemon is the only one who can go back and forth between worlds. The world of the beasts, eh? Is that what that thing was that came to Pony Island? A beast. Tapu Finney and I tried to fight it, but it nearly did us both in. We did not stand a chance. Alright, I will tell you what I tell you what I know. Oh thank you, Hapu. But what I know is not much. Just that there is a ceremony held for the legendary Pokemon at the altar. A ceremony that uses two particular flutes to somehow give the legendary Pokemon power. This is the Sun Flute. It seems that my mother had it. Oh, that looks to be the flute that used to reside at the Lake of Ula Ula. The other is said to be held at Executor Island. I do not know why there are all, pl why there of all places, but it has been passed down, and that's where it belongs. Executor Island. I think I've read about it before. It's an inhabited, I uninhabited island off the coast of Pony. Isn't that right? And yes, no reasons to dally here. Let us let us go and speak with the Sea Folk Chief. Lily, you take Musdale. We proceed to Sea Folk Village. And that's where I'm going to leave it for this episode, guys. We will hatch um, another egg right at the beginning of the next episode. I'll get myself back to the Pokemon Center. And we will head off to Executor Island in the next episode. If you have enjoyed this episode, please do smash that like button. And if you're new to my channel, please do hit that subscribe for all my future content and giveaways. If you would like to be named after one of the Pokemon in this Let's Play, all you have to do is answer the question of the day right there on the screen in the comment section down below. And today's question is, who is your favourite ghost type in all of the Pokemon series? So, which ghost type Pokemon is your favourite? After hatching Marshadow, I thought that would be a pretty cool question for this episode. So, all you have to do is comment down below and you will be in with a chance of being named after one of the Pokemon in this Let's Play. I won't keep you any more, uh, any longer, guys. So I will say ta-ta for now.